my beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for mid-June right through to mid-July 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your Twin Flame reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. This reading is for those twins who are currently in separation. The first pile will be your pile, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile will be the unified energy of how things are going to turn out, okay? Uh, now, also, I want you to make sure you know what a Twin Flame connection is. If you've heard this already from me because you watch my videos, then please fast forward this bit. But for those of you who are joining for the first time, I'll just give you a brief description of what it means to be in a twin flame connection. It is a magnetic relationship where two people are drawn to each other. Um, it's like meeting yourself, basically. It's a very odd experience. Um, when you meet your twin, you know that there is something otherworldly about this relationship. You almost read each other's minds. There is a very deep bond right from the very beginning. It is like no other relationship, okay? When you meet your twin, it's like looking in a mirror however, uh, at all the things within yourself that needs to be healed. So whatever you've experienced before you've even met your twin, all the things that need to be healed, the experiences you've had, whether it's trauma, whether it is bullying, whether you witnessed uh, parents divorcing and it's left a mark on you regarding how you uh, look at love or approach love, whether it is uh, toxic energy addictions, codependency, uh, these are things that get amplified in the twin flame connection in order for you to really look at it and process it. Now, there tends to be a runner, a chaser, and a separation period. Um, that is the um, dynamic for a twin flame connection. The chaser tends to be open to the twin flame connection and the healing process. They're willing to surrender to the connection and open themselves fully to the love that is uh, deep, vulnerable, and um, authentic, passionate, intense, and sometimes a little bit messy. Love is messy sometimes, and the chaser is willing to open themselves up to that uh, level. Uh, the runner tends to look at all the things within themselves that need healing. Remember, they're looking in a mirror, and they avoid it. They do not want to awaken. They do not want to process the things within them, so they become avoidant, and they... Um, put their uh, twin at arm's length and they know that they've met their twin but they're scared to look at things within themselves that really need to be released because they're in a comfort zone okay so um now, uh, it's a little bit more complex than that, of course. I always describe it as magnets. Two people who meet your twins, so you're in identical energy when you first meet. And when you think about polarities uh, of magnets, they attract each other, but they also repel each other because they are the same energy. So um, there is a space in between. And both polarities need to change the frequency that they're in separately in order to come together in a match. If the chaser continues to focus on their twin and, you know, chases their twin or tries to communicate, then they will perpetuate the cycle. They will enable the runner to keep on running. Uh, the... The Twin Flame Connection is basically about accepting your spiritual awakening and your, your true calling because twins, they tend to have a mission in this lifetime. You are separated on purpose to focus on that true calling and in that time period, you spiritually evolve and become more fulfilled within yourself before you connect to your, um, your twin. And then, of course, uh, there is reunion with the Twin Flame Connection. As soon as the chaser 
starts really focusing on their own path, their own true calling, their true north and their true prosperity, does some spiritual work in order to value who they are, love themselves a little bit harder, that's when you actually are the catalyst for change in a twin flame dynamic relationship. And when you are doing you, of course, then that is when your person comes seeking you. Okay, and it's not a game, it's an energetic exchange. We are all energy. Now, I also want you to be aware that there is such a thing called a false flame. If anyone is um, toxic in their energy, anyone who is um, emotionally, physically, mentally abusive, that is not a twin flame connection. That is a false flame energy, and I want you to be aware of that um, because you'll waste your wonderful time. Okay, now looking at this, I feel you're definitely thinking about moving on moving on and away from this person you're looking for a secure relationship and you feel that this person is emotionally unavailable and cannot give you what you require and deserve in a relationship i feel you're very let down and disappointed in this but you're not the sort of person my beautiful capricorn to really dwell in energy especially when it comes to someone who um you may feel is keeping you waiting, okay? So I'm really picking up on that here right now. Your first card is the rider, and you know, it's covered here by the chariot card. So you're you're on the way to moving forward and perhaps moving on with your life because this twin flame connection has been very difficult. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I do feel that you have actually messaged this person. You may have told them how you feel. I, I really get this sense from the message. It's uh, maybe I'm not getting the exact words, but it's kind of like it's now or never. Uh, I'm really getting a sense that you um, maybe not gave them an ultimatum, but you let them know that you're not going to wait around. You, you know, life is too short to be waiting. And I really get this sense that um, you're quickly taking a step back from this person because life is short and I feel... Um, you're taking action, you're taking control of the situation. Um, we've got number nine here, so that's hermit energy as well, and number one. Number one, of course, is the magician energy, so I feel like you're being focused on your projects at this time. Um, you do think about this person from time to time, and you do realize that this person is capable of opening themselves up to an awakening and, you know, initiating change. But you feel this person has not really stepped up to the plate, and uh, you've done a lot of legwork in this connection. You've left your uh, heart wide open for this person. But I feel like you're turning your back because um, it's stagnant. Now, looking at their pile, I mean, I'm not here to give anyone an excuse or a way out of anything. I'm here to try and understand the energy so I can understand the outcome. I do see that they are in a period of uh, healing and they have walked away. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, but they've withdrawn and I feel like you are withdrawing right now. So it is kind of stalemate energy. And with the writer, I feel perhaps you sent a message to this person or you've held back on sending a message. I really feel there's a message here. Something still is left unsaid in this connection. So I'm just gonna pull a quick card on it. Um, now, I'm picking up on about 30% energy of Capricorns out there who may have witnessed something when they were uh, in childhood of a parent or guardian uh, turning their back or leaving a situation. And um, I almost get this sense of, I promise that I will not emulate that pattern. I promise I will not let that happen to me. Okay, I'm picking up on that. So I feel like you are taking back your power in the situation and you're like, nope, nope, this is not happening. So um, even though you didn't wanna walk away from this person because you love this person, you know that this person is your twin, I feel like you're turning your back on this person because um, this person, it's like they don't really know what they want. They're very wishy-washy. When they first met you, I feel like they were not looking for love. And, you know, that's okay that we meet people on different tangents, but they know that they are your twin and they have avoided their energy. And I feel this person has denied the connection or um, been reluctant to go into the messy business of love. But we'll see why in a moment. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please give me a little bit more with the rider for my beautiful Capricorns? What else are they meant to see? Uh, with the rest of the energy of course I feel like you are building confidence within yourself standing in your power and saying hell no not going to go through this I am not a victim I'm going to uh, I feel like yes it has been a struggle and yes you love this person but I feel like you're you're not you know you're not waiting you're not waiting anymore can you please clarify the justice okay I do feel that you have some questions that you would like answered 
surge really uh, with the justice card I feel like you're being honest with yourself and you recognize that it's cause and effect if you don't change something about your dynamics and how you're approaching the situation you feel that nothing is ever going to change because right now in the water because I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading um, they're showing me a record player okay so you may feel that this is a record that keeps being played between you and this person it keeps going round and round in circles or it's on repeat a cycle of repeat in some way and you may feel you know the only way to change this is for you to change so you're taking a step back I do feel you want you know honesty with this person I really feel um, you want to find a solution deep down but you just want the truth as to why they walked away why they have stepped away from the twin flame connection we will see in a moment the Sun card you're stepping away to be happy you're stepping away to find your happiness and uh, to find joy in life I do feel this is uh, your point of awakening shall we say because I always feel the chaser has really one of the hardest jobs because they recognize when they've met their twin and the love is intense and it is otherworldly and you're willing to go to that space because it's like a relationship like no other but then when the twin is actually rejecting parts of themselves that they do not wish to look at and they push away their twin because they're getting too close when someone gets too close and um, it feels really scary people put the brakes on in a relationship and the chaser tends to feel rejected because their twin is actually detaching but the twin always comes back the twin keeps coming back because they are drawn to their twin they know that they've met their person and they can't really understand what is drawing them back they can't really understand why they can't let go when perhaps in other areas of their life they're really happy to detach and cut and run or whatever it is they do but they keep coming back they keep coming back to you my beautiful Capricorn and the Sun card tells me that um, you are really having an awakening where you just feel something needs to adjust in this connection and I feel like you're adjusting your approach to this by taking a step back what you may realize or maybe not realize is that you're actually that catalyst for change by you withdrawing and taking a step back you're actually encouraging this person to do some spiritual growth work they've got the eight of cups the eight of cups indicates they're on a journey of discovery they're letting go of all the narrative that they've lived their life by um, previously which has kept them stuck sometimes we have a narrative that we pick up when we're younger something that influences us maybe something we've witnessed or experienced ourselves and it informs our choices especially when it comes to love and I want to see what this person's energy is I mean we've got the justice card and they've also got the justice card here so I do feel this person will tell you the truth they will actually uh, tell the truth and they will adjust their position in the twin flame connection because you are taking a step back but with the ace of wands here in your energy I feel you are really thinking about branching out and perhaps um, you know starting something new somewhere else because uh, you can't wait forever okay um, I'm just gonna actually go one more thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn we have the six of wands we got the chariot card again and the ace of swords so it's basically you're holding yourself in high esteem which is really great because that's your spiritual awakening uh, we are all meant to learn lessons in twin flame connections which is about valuing ourselves building uh, more confidence and releasing trust issues um, anything that you've experienced previously whether it's being bullied when you were younger uh, whether it was witnessing parents or guardians uh, divorcing so it's your first sort of platform or what it means to be in love is a skewed one or it could be um, anything that even if you've had a previous love relationship that you had that was very damaging I feel like you're actually uh, building back you're becoming more yourself and you're you're holding yourself in high esteem by walking away okay um, twin flames it takes a long time for people to realize that that um, you have to um, almost signal to the universe no I'm sorry you know I deserve better than that so I'm taking myself out of this connection for this period of time to focus on myself and then your twin because there is a magnetic cord between you two think of the magnets okay as soon as you change the dynamics for yourself you change the frequency and your person their energy starts to become more attracted they come back okay but they're also encouraged to do some spiritual evolution work themselves in order to step up 
we have that chariot card energy here you've got it twice so you're definitely moving away from the situation you're elevating and i feel like you're overcoming some obstacles in this connection but also i feel like you're giving your energy elsewhere you were someone who was very dedicated to this person you wanted commitment you you saw this relationship going somewhere and you actually offered a lot of love devotion and you were a pillar of strength to this person as well they actually felt very safe in your energy they felt that they could confide in you or uh, just be there themselves okay because this person what i see with this person is sometimes they're afraid to be their full authentic self and i'm not saying that this person wears a mask okay but i really get this sense of bravado where they're like i don't need anybody i'm good all by myself i'm self-sufficient and this person they just seem to keep people at arm's length okay uh, this person it's not that they're a loner i don't feel like that at all but i do feel that this person they have trouble connecting to people um long term uh, commitment issues but it's I feel it's in everything that they do okay uh, this is the sort of person you're dealing with who starts something that they're really excited about and then they never finish it as well okay this person is a little bit scattered in their energy but as you can see we've got the snail in this particular card so I feel it has been very slow moving relationship and I feel like there's again it's not an ultimatum energy that i'm getting from you it's more that if this doesn't pick up pace i'm moving on and i really feel that you're actually withdrawing by taking yourself elsewhere uh, i mean some of you may literally be deciding to take a vacation or a holiday to really get clear on um, getting closure on this situation i mean we can all we all have free will and we can all cut a cord with our twin if we decide to uh, but it's it's your choice but the chariot card i feel like you're keeping a tight rein on your emotions right now and you're trying to be strong enough not to communicate with this person even though deep down your every being your every fiber in your being is perhaps calling or yearning to this person there was something about this person that actually when you're in their presence and it's all good and it's all wonderful there's like an immense peace it's like there's no one else in the world just you and them you and them against the world. You may even like have said that sentence uh, with each other. Now, what I'm getting here is there needs to be more grounding in this particular connection. So if you do want to be with this person can it heal the um, the answer is absolutely yes but this reading is good for the next six weeks so i'm just going to check in with the energy and see what is coming for you with that ace of swords i feel like you just want answers you just want clarity what happened why why did this person take a step back why did they detach and i feel you are taking responsibility for your actions and you are having the courage of your convictions to say you know what enough is enough but i feel you do want to um hear from this person deep down so that they can take accountability to let you know why things went down but the ace of swords tells me that there is a breakthrough in this connection and also you're in a very powerful position because you're now entering the runner phase okay uh twin flames they tend to flip polarities if you look it up online you'll see the dynamics of the twin flame connection by you walking away you will encourage your person to come towards you okay um with this ace of swords i do feel like there is some sort of breakthrough communication that comes towards you um we'll see how long that will be uh, before you get that um as you can see we've got the stars energy for your person so they are going through a period of healing um something ended in this person's life and it was very painful and again i'm not here to uh, give anyone an excuse but this person has experienced um someone using them in a very um disgraceful way okay now this could be a relationship that they had um previously before they met you when they were younger or even a couple of years ago or even just recently before um they met you i really get a sense that this was a karmic and they used this person okay they, this person used your twin um the stars it's number 16 so this is really tower energy so this person had a shock in love and they were not expecting to fall in love when they met you okay they may have told you about this experience that they had in the past where someone really treated them very badly they lost hope in love this person um it's like when they met you they didn't believe in love anymore okay 
and they are capable of love but they're emotionally unavailable at this time is what i'm seeing here um now the twin flame connection it's when it separates it's almost like you're in training okay and i know it's very difficult and especially when you're a you know a chaser um in the chasing dynamic it is very painful experience it feels very discouraging it feels like you know feels like rejection you feel disappointed uh and let down and it's a very painful experience so i'm sending you a huge huge hug out there um when I first met my twin, I was the runner, okay? So I can only give you from the runner's experience at first that uh, when I met my twin, I knew that I loved that person. I knew that they were my twin, but I had been in a very damaging previous experience, um, which I'd literally just come out of. Like within weeks, I had just come out of something that was, you know, devastating. And then I met my twin and I was like, hell no, I'm not going there. And I really wanted to, you know, explore it i was curious i was drawn to my twin of course i you know as soon as i spotted them in a crowded room i was like i know it was like a lightning bolt to the heart and this person was like there and i was like nope and i would just keep pushing that person away because i was not ready and i was not ready to face the things that i've experienced i try to put them in a little box and say i'm not going to deal with that and you know what love hurt me in the past and I'm just not going to go there again because it's probably going to end up in the same way so I pushed and I pushed away even though I wanted to say I love you I want to be with you but this person the reason I'm mentioning it because I feel this person has had a similar experience that they have not healed yet but they are currently healing and again I'm not giving this person a, a way out or an excuse but I do feel they're capable of love but they are liberating themselves out of this feeling of being stuck okay um, again I keep getting this energy they just walked away from something or they just come out of something that was very damaging before they met you okay um, I'm gonna pull some cards on this person they're actually showing me maybe it's because I said a lightning bolt to the heart they're actually showing me a lightning bolt in the water for you okay um, this is going to be a sign or a symbol that you will see everywhere you go in the next six weeks okay you may see it on a billboard you may see it on a sign um, I mean you might get like an electrical storm, I'm not sure, but I'm actually seeing an image of like a, a lightning bolt, okay? And it indicates that this person, out of the blue, they're actually going to communicate with you in some way. Now this could be email, it could be text, it could be phone call. Um, now, this is very immature energy that's coming through. I'm getting about 20% energy. So I'm gonna mention it because it's enough energy to mention it. There's gonna be some Capricorns out there that hear from their twin and their twin is going to say my phone dialed you by accident or that was an accident that was it was no accident okay I want you to be aware so when this person you know you, you may see like a, either a missed call or something from this person or you know if you're on social media and there's a sudden like on one of your photos or something like that and they're like oh that, that was an accident it wasn't it was no accident okay so I just want you to be aware of that um, it is very immature energy and of course this person needs to spiritually evolve a little bit further before they're ready or open for a relationship with you but I'm just seeing that coming through so uh, but when you see a lightning bolt image pay close attention because these images they may mean nothing right now but in the next six weeks or so when you start to see these images then things start to become a little bit more like guidance they are signposts along the way and i do feel it's you getting closer to having a communication with your person king of wands and the queen of wands this person is completely magnetized by you okay um, as you can see here uh, king and queen of wands very passionate intense couple I do feel when they first met you because they come out of something very very difficult I feel initially they thought this was something that was very flirtatious uh, very physical in its nature this person did not expect to catch feelings and actually they started to um, become really comfortable with being who they were authentically with you and they started to have visions of the future with you and them and then they got scared because they've been hurt in the past is what I'm getting and this person has got a very protective energy here this person influenced 
the or initiated the t taking a step back is what they're showing me as well. This person is very flirtatious, uh, very good looking, this person. Um, they have this bravado of confidence, but behind that, this person, there's a lot of trust issues, okay? I'm just gonna, I do feel this person wants to heal things with you. The Ten of Swords can indicate that this person, you know, is hopeful of a new beginning, and they know that a previous situation has been ruling their choices or influencing their choices. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please clarify this energy? Nine of Wands, wounded. Yeah, so again, they're giving me an indication. Look up, please look up the meanings of these cards. Nine of Wands, this is someone who's been wounded, someone who doesn't really want to give up on love, but I feel like the previous experience made them think that way. And the Five of Cups, as you can see, this figure is mourning a past situation or situations that did not go well for this person and they could not see how love could ever really reach them or be for them and I feel you were placed in their path and with the five of cups this tends to mean that because of previous difficulties or disappointments this person has had trouble recognizing love or allowing love in and I feel like they turned their back on love almost but this person, they need to allow the flow of emotions so they can get closure on a past situation. I don't feel like they want to be with a past person at all. I feel like they're in a single energy. The Eight of Cups indicates they've walked away from something. They are in a single energy and they are in a, a period of personal discovery. I just wanna see. King of Swords, Page of Cups. Yeah, this person, I mean, they're in a single energy and they're thinking about moving on or thinking about new love. They are in a period of analysis. They're judging their past and how it influenced their present. Um, I'm just going to take the whole deck back first before I clarify um, fully. This person, they're single. They're not with anyone at the moment. Eight of Cups, sorry, Eight of Pentacles, yes. Eight of Pentacles indicates they are working on themselves. They are in a cycle of repeat, however. I do feel um, they are stuck in this cycle of repeat and they find it very difficult to get out of it at the moment. The Eight of Pentacles does show though that they are doing some uh, personal work. They are working on themselves, focusing on their projects. Eight is the number of the self. So I do feel this person is um, in a single energy. We do have the Ten of Swords. So when we have the Ten of Swords, it tends to mean, you know, a very painful ending from a previous experience. But I do feel this person is starting to respond differently to this situation because I do feel they have some regrets. I do actually uh, feel, and I will uh, pull a card on this, but every turn they're reminded about how they should mend things with you and how things went down. This person, they have their conscious, their conscience, sorry, is um, heavily, it's weighing heavily on their mind. Uh, as you can see, we've got lots of needles there. Needles tend to be used to mend things. And um, I feel that this person has been really, I get a, a sense of feeling very empty this person has been feeling very empty because they know that they couldn't even allow real authentic love in because of a previous experience. They hadn't learned. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So you came in obviously in divine timing because twin flames are meant to meet when you go through a very difficult experience in life. Twin flames tend to come in to be the catalyst for change, to amplify or trigger things that you experienced on your journey in the past in order to release them. Because sometimes we'll go through life with a little box of things that we've experienced that can in some way influence our choices in life and we never really look at it until someone triggers it. So the twin flame is a very important and sometimes difficult relationship to navigate, but it is rewarding once you really focus on things that need to be healed and then come back into union. 
Yeah, Eight of Cups. So this person, they literally walked away from your love because they didn't trust it. They had previously ended something. Also, I'm being given an energy of this person did not want you to be a rebound, okay? They felt they needed to uh, be on their own, discover themselves, and, you know, I feel they saw your love as really authentic and not the superficial type of stuff that they've been experiencing from other people. They saw that you had a very true heart, but they've been damaged in a previous experience and they didn't want to project that baggage onto you or influence the relationship. So the Eight of Cups, this person, they walked away from everything. And uh, with the Ten of Swords, they, re they really regret it, okay? This person, uh, they feel regret and they try to block it out a little bit, but as I said, their conscience comes back and reminds them. But if you're ever asking, did they love you or do they love you? The answer is yes, okay? Um, when the Eight of Cups happens, as you can see, all of these figures, there's twins there, okay? I got two butterflies, two dragonflies, two birds, two swans, and the little ladybug. And this person um, is searching. They're soul searching. They're on a path that will lead them back to their twin. So the Eight of Cups literally means, you know, a journey of discovery, letting go and seeking a deeper meaning in life and recognizing that they need to re-examine their life and see where life has taken them so they can be more fearless in their energy. They're being given an opportunity to pause and really discover what is right for their heart because I feel they've been choosing with their head especially since they've got the Ten of Swords there. Now, the outcome energy we have here, we have the mouse for your person. So there is uh, fear and difficulty with this person still. This is their overarching energy for the next six weeks. So I have to give it to you the way I'm getting it. This person does worry a lot, okay? Um, I do feel that this person is dealing with something toxic or, uh, I mean, that they experienced. And I will pull a card on that. I do feel that they will move away from that energy. But this person, they actually worry a lot about loss and they worry a lot about abandonment issues. This person is in a cycle of fear because they've experienced someone walking away from them and, um, okay, thanks so much, I'm sure grateful. They're giving me a song in the water right now. If you want me, you can have me, but I'm all used up. Okay, this is a trippy song. It sounds like something from the 70s. It's like really, um, I don't know what this song is, uh, but it just sounds a little bit like, you know what? It sounds like I have heard this before, but I really can't place it. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's come up in a reading before and that's why it's familiar, but yeah, I can't. What I can see is oxygen. F, F oxygen. F oxygen. Not unless it's f oxygen. Uh, F, I, I'm not really sure. It looks like oxygen in the water. It's a bit cloudy, but um, yeah, it's got an F there as well. So uh, I'll look it up, see what it, what song it is. You may know what this song is and it may play for you. It may be a sign or a symbol that indicates your person is closer to uh, communicating with you because you have the justice card there. This person wants to find a solution. They want to do right. And I feel that they are moving, you know, they're thinking or contemplating their next move. And I feel like they're moving this person's influence from their past away in order to get closer to you. I do feel that there is a move closer to you. But again, I get this person being very fearful of being hurt. Um, I know it's such a cliche, hurt people, hurt people, you know, and I hate it myself because I think, mm, sounds like a get out clause, right? But when a person has been hurt before, they create a barrier and they literally push people away, even if they want to or they don't want to, you know, they just, their instinctive mood, move, their go-to move, their like coping mechanism, shall we say, is to say, no, you don't get access to me. And that's what I feel from this person. I want to see if there's anything deeper. 
um, anything beyond this relationship that this person experienced that has been painful and has kept them in a cycle of fear? The Emperor. Um, I feel this person has had a father figure or a, a masculine guardian who walked away, okay? Uh, maybe even had an affair when uh, they were younger and it may have caused uh, a lot of trouble in the home space. Um, they may have actually um, left to be with somebody else. And this person, they've emulated a pattern, but they are on the receiving end from someone who used them, okay? So I feel that, yeah, this person has witnessed love and loss and experienced it as well. So they've almost learned that love does not stick around love is transient and by association this person is keeping themselves or protecting their heart even from true love and their twin okay uh, there's trust issues here now they've also got the justice card so i do feel they are trying to adjust or take accountability for their actions and stand in their truth they do want to find a solution actually this person but I feel like they're in a period of judging themselves at the moment as well. I'll pull a quick card on the justice card for um, you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? I feel like this person is reminded that their actions in the present moment will affect their future. And they also are aware that a decision needs to be made. Okay, so... Yeah, and their decision here, and again, look up the meanings of the cards, it's like step out, step up or step out, okay? We've got the Knight of Pentacles, so that is to make a move, to um, make an effort to offer something more stable, to stick around, to invest in this relationship. The Six of Cups tells me this person wants to reunite. They see you as a gift, someone who loved them. Even at their lowest ebb, you are still there for them, and they... It's more than that. They know that the love is more than that. It is otherworldly. They've never experienced unconditional love. So it scared them because it feels like it can be taken away from them because they've known what it feels like to have something taken away. Okay. Um, and with the Six of Cups here, I do feel they want to reunite. We do have um, the Five of Wands here. Okay. Now the Five of Wands really is about making a decision it is about being in training of course thinking about the next move i feel this person with the five of wands you're different than their usual type and that's a good thing by the way and i really feel that this person is going to come a little bit left field and message you it's going to be such a random thing i almost feel again it's more that they say oh i'm sorry by accident my phone rang you or something like that. I mean, that is very immature, but I'm just going to pull a cord on this five of wands because I feel there's an energy here where this person is going to tell you that they didn't want to play you off the other person, that they really wanted to end a cycle or get closure on a past situation before they offered you anything deeper. But I just need to make sure of that, okay? The Five of Wands indicates this person also may feel that you've got someone else. Um, also, I do feel this person is scared to tell you the truth as well, okay? Um, I have to be honest with what I see here. They're scared to be vulnerable. They're scared to, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide the hangman? Okay, I'm just going to go one more because what I see here, uh, the Five of Wands, I think I said this before, I let you know, uh, that the Five of Wands tends to be about training. Um, it, when you get the Five of Wands, the next card up is the Six of Wands. So the history of the Five of Wands is to be in training or to, you know, strategize your move in life to step up. And I feel this person recognizes that the time apart with you is to learn more about stability, is to see this relationship from a different angle. And the Nine of Cups, I really get this sense that this person 
can't let you go because they do see that you are like a wish come true. They feel really content with you, okay? Because they got the hangman here. The hangman is, of course, to be in limbo, to wait, to um, see things from different angles. This person has been very selfish in their energy. I got, I got to give it to you the way I'm seeing it. And I feel this person, they are gaining wisdom. And I feel in order to come to you right, they've had to sacrifice time in order to focus on their own needs and get a different perspective in order to spiritually evolve. When you get the hangman, as you can see, the sun is behind the person's head, which means awakening. So this person, their crown chakra is opening to knowledge. And we got the four of pentacles. This person can't let you go, but I do feel also they're looking at long-term security. They do have a desire for it, but they found it really hard. It has taken them a long time to let go of something that in the past they thought was their wish fulfillment, but it ended up being very damaging experience to them. And now they've met you, they don't want to, it's almost like they don't want that experience to repeat in this relationship, so they've kept you at arm's length. Uh, the Nine of Cups, Whoever takes the journey of discovery and walks away in the Eight of Cups, they will always stumble on the Nine of Cups. So I do feel this person, they will come back around. Now, whether you're waiting there, I'm not really sure because looking at your energy, I feel you do want a high level commitment. I mean, you want the same things. Both of you are uh, pretty much getting similar cards. Both of you got the Four of Pentacles there. So both of you do want a long-term secure relationship with each other that would be ideal but right now your person I feel like they're still in that evolution stage where they're healing they are getting closure on a very difficult situation before they step up but looking at your energy I feel like you can't wait anymore okay I'm just gonna pull one more before I move on tell me about that five of wands in the next year I just want to see what's going on there Okay. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels, can you please guide? Three of Wands and the Temperance card. They're aligning themselves with their heart and they're coming into balance. I do feel like they are focused on their true purpose. Remember I said Twin Flames, they have a mission. Uh, they need to focus on their true purpose before they can come back into balance. Yeah, they're cha they'll change their life. So um, I do feel like you will have lots of messages from this person. I do feel this person will take action. They will come towards you. The Knight of Swords, um, did I say the Knight of Cups? I meant the Knight of Swords if I said the Knight of Cups. I do apologize if I did say that. But uh, the Knight of Swords really indicates that this person will find the courage to make better, healthier choices. And I feel like they will release the anger they have from the past for a person that betrayed them, which will allow their heart to be completely free to be in union with you if you choose to be with them. We all have free will. Now, that was extreme that I asked, like, you know, by the end of the year, will things have changed? And the answer is yes. But the next six weeks, I see this person is still evolving. Will you hear from this person? I feel like you will have some indication or connection with this person. It could be a message. Um, looking at your energy, we have the lily. Okay, now the lily is, you know, maturity. It is, you are very experienced. You're older and wiser. Okay, and you recognize that this process is a long process. But right now, you may be looking at um, the fact that you're getting older and you can't do this anymore. I feel like you're standing in your power, you are valuing yourself, and you may feel that this is over for you, okay? So I do feel that you're flipping the energy. Eventually, you'll become the, the, the runner and they'll become the chaser. That's what I see. I mean, they got the Knight of Swords, which means they will chase you. You'll flip in polarity. Um, lilies tend to be the flowers of the dead. So I do feel that you feel that this is over. I mean, the death card energy tends to represent um, new beginnings, uh, shedding what is old and familiar in order to embrace something new. And we do have the Ace of Wands here for you. So this represents you, you know, turning a new chapter, but also desiring 
to meet someone who gives you that spark. So some of you may be like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. And you're wondering, will there be anybody new who comes in? Aces tend to be the start of something. And I feel in the future, this relationship can turn into a high level commitment, but there needs to be honest, open conversation and accountability. Also, this person's actions need to match their words. With the Ace of Wands though, I do see that there is a new flirtation coming in for you. My beautiful Capricorn, if you're looking to go for a soulmate as opposed to a twin flame, just want you to be aware. Um, the Ace of Wands though, in twin flame connection, it does tend to represent um, transformation, that you are that catalyst for change. You're imagining something new, you're daring, you're doing something bold and different in this twin flame connection, and it will affect this relationship long term, but it will help a difficult situation, a delicate situation become something that is more uh, healthier. So I do feel you will influence this person to come to you in a better energy. Also, we got the four of pentacles, you're looking for security and also I feel uh, part of you may be holding on to the fact that there is a lot of chemistry between you and this person and you haven't come this far to only get this far. So you may have a decision that you need to make. The Four of Pentacles also indicates that you're being very private. So I feel like you are a little bit off limits to this person at this time or in the next six weeks or so. But I feel with the Four of Pentacles that you are trying to find security in your own life, building a solid foundation for you, and rep recognizing that divine order will manifest in all areas of your life when you find stability in your own world. Um, the Four of Pentacles tends to remind us all that you're exactly where you need to be in the world. And I do feel you and your person, you can come together in union. But right now, the separation period is helping both of you grow and give you an opportunity to focus on your true calling. I'm just going to get some final cards, the sun card. Thank you so much, Spirit guys. You're in the period of awakening when it comes to twin flame connections, which is a positive experience, even though it doesn't feel like it, okay? We've got the King of Cups, so there is a lot of love here. Oops. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. The deck is becoming very, very um, difficult to manage. And when that happens, okay, when that happens, it tends to mean uh, that both parties are finding the separation period very difficult but recognizing that it has a purpose, okay? Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. We have uh, the King of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is, I mean, uh, King of Pentacles, of course, is a Taurus energy, but it does represent Earth. So um, it represents your energy as well, focusing on your projects. The King of Cups, Scorpio energy. With the Nine of Pentacles in between, it can mean that both of you are being kept separate to learn to love being in your own energy, to love single life, to focus on building your own prosperity and find satisfaction and love and happiness from within, fulfillment from within. But I need to just pull a card there because of course there are two people. Um, we've got the Four of Cups as well. The Four of Cups really indicates that this person, they're not with anyone else. I feel like they were closed off to love because everything that they experienced before they met you was really painful or unrewarding and I feel they had been disappointed in love before so they shut themselves off to love in general. I do feel there's going to be lots of omens that you will see. Remember the lightning bolt because they're actually giving me the light okay they're giving me a lightning bolt and a very famous philosopher's name Jung J U. N G. So either you are into philosophy or your person is. Um, they're giving me that Jung believed that lightning bolts liberated the soul. Lightning and thunder release pressure. Thanks so much. I'm so sure grateful. They're giving me that this person, when they first met you, they were actually love struck. But then they started to unravel their fear got the better of them and they started to think it'll probably go the same way. So 
it's a very destructive force that is within this person. They're very impulsive and they were not planning for the future. They were living for the moment because when they try to plan for the future in the past, it all fell away. Um, it was a very hot and heavy relationship, very intense, electric, but they felt it was not sustainable and it's not sustainable without a grounding. So you and your person uh, are to build solid foundations separately. Oh, um, they actually just gave me a sentence. Maybe it's something that you will see over the next six weeks or so, which was diamonds are formed under pressure. Um, so yeah. I'll just leave like that like that because I'm not really sure why I was given that, but maybe it's relevant to you in some way. These may be things that you'll see over the next six weeks. This uh, next deck, it's a wonderful deck. It's the Twin Flame Messages deck. All the things that your twin perhaps wanted to say to you, but did not say to you just yet. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Queen Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay. It's really interesting. Every single sign for the twin flame energy, they're getting this card. I want to come back home to you where I belong. Twin flames, they know they belong together, but they have to go through the messy stuff before they can come into union. Um, we've also got, I'm so grateful for you. I'm trying to trust in divine timing and I'm going through a lot. Now they want me to go one more, five, they've given me five, one, two, three, four, that's four, they want me to go one more. So I'm going through a lot. Now, of course, you're going through a lot too, my beautiful Capricorn, so um, it's not just on their terms. What is meant for you will never pass you by, so breathe, Divine timing will bring you back together. Um, the universe kind of orchestrates meetings. So it doesn't mean not forever. It means not now. That's what I'm picking up on. Uh, it says here, yeah, look, my fears. That's literally what's showing up in their reading. My fears keep stopping me. My fears keep stopping me. And also I've been learning a lot about spirituality. So with that Ten of Swords and that Eight of Cups, this person, they are going through a spiritual journey of discovery in order to learn where they belong. They know where they belong. And I feel like they will find their way back to you. But in the next six weeks, I feel physically you will not be with your twin. I feel there will be a communication with your twin, but I do feel that it is moving at a slow pace in a direction that perhaps you can heal things with your person, okay? So I'm just gonna go and get a trinket before we close. Um, here we go. We have um, the rag doll there, which tends to mean this person has been affected by something since childhood. Uh, it could also mean that you or your person have uh, children and it's a very difficult uh, situation to navigate. But the main energy I'm picking up from this trinket is that this person witnessed a parent or guardian. I feel the energy is a masculine parent or guardian um, that cheated. And they, I feel like your twin had to they had a lot of responsibility on their shoulders in the family unit, but we've got the tree of life, which connects to the hangman energy. This person is learning and I feel like they are changing their perspective. They're gaining wisdom. And I feel like they're, they're grounding, they're rooting their energy. And that's when they can start to open themselves up to a healthy relationship. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. I wish I could tie it up in a little bow and say, you know what, this is the date that you, this person will be with you and, or, you know, this is how to work it out. But I'm only given certain energy, so I can only read what I can see for the next six weeks or so. And I will leave it there. I hope it does resonate. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. And I don't know if you can hear it in the background. We got some rumbles of thunder. Okay, so thunder, lightning, it clears the air. And I really feel this person wants to. So I'll leave it like that. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.